Queensland has sweltered today with outback temperatures soaring well above 40 degrees. Five people were hospitalised due to the extreme weather on the first day of the heatwave. On days like this, you take relief where you can get it. You're hot, Kessie. Chimps at the Rockhampton Zoo cooling down with an icy treat. The animals don't really struggle too much. Um, it's more like the humans that struggle because they know not to do all their work <coughs> and the midday they rest up. A severe heat wave has marked the start of summer. For farmers, there's fears crops including green beans and pumpkins could suffer. It's not hard for us to put up with a couple of days of even up to 40 degrees. But, um, yeah, it's when you get it for a whole week that um, it becomes really draining. A rush has been put on harvesting to salvage the produce. Yesterday we went out and just basically walked our fields and got any of the pumpkins that were ready um, and, and to get them into the shed because they'll sunburn um, with this much heat. Today, the temperatures soared across outback Queensland, where Longreach hit 43 degrees. Birdsville almost topped 47 Roma is heading for more than six days straight, above 40 degrees. And that hasn't happened in December for Roma since 1972. But it's not quite enough to fry an egg. Families across the state are doing what they can to stay cool. She's been to the cinema today to the, in the air conditioning with her brother and then we've come to the beach afterwards. We've been in a few of the galleries and nicely air conditioned spaces. And the warning from the Bureau is get used to the heat. They'll remain though into the high 30s, low 40s, at least until about Wednesday. Then thankfully we'll see a change in MS coming through from the west. It could be a long and hot summer ahead. Casey Briggs, ABC News.